Hi, my name is Ventu, and I am the designer of Isaac. Isaac is an abstract strategy game for two players. I invented it at the end of 2010. Isaac has simple rules you can learn in a couple of minutes, and a typical game lasts between 10 and 15 minutes. Isaac is played on a square checkered board with 100 white squares arranged in a 10 by 10 grid. Each player faces a side of the board where squares are numbered in his color from 1 to 10, from 1 to 10, and has on his left a column where squares are numbered by 10s, from 10 to 90, from 10 to 90, again in his color. Each player has a set of 15 rectangular pieces and a counter. Pieces and a counter. Each piece is one square wide and can be three to seven squares long. Three to seven squares long. On each piece there's also a number from one on the shorter piece to six on the longer one. The game is divided in two phases, placement and scoring. During placement, each player takes turn placing one of his available pieces on the board, fitting it on the still available squares, like this. Placing a piece is mandatory. If the player still has a piece that can fit somewhere, he must play it. If a player can't move, he passes and the opponent goes on moving till he can. When both players cannot add any more pieces, the placement phase ends and the players set aside all the pieces they couldn't place. The first player who passed during placement begins the scoring phase. During this phase, each player removes one of his pieces from the board and scores points. In order to score points, the counter is moved on the board itself. Each square corresponds to a number identified by adding the tens and the units of the correct color on the sides of the board. Example, if black wants to score 17 points, he places the score, the counter here is like 10 plus 7, 17 points. If the black wants to score 24 points, it's like here, 24. If the red player wants to score 22 points, the red counter goes here, 22 points. A piece must be removed according to two rules. First rule, a piece cannot be removed if a counter is placed on it. Black cannot remove this piece because there's a counter here. Second rule, a piece cannot be removed after a longer piece has been removed before by the same player. Example, white removes these four square long pieces. Then black removes this. Now white cannot remove this piece because this one that he removed before is longer. White can still remove this piece because this one has the same length. This means that each player can remove his pieces only in ascending order of length. The points scored removing a piece are the number written on the piece times the number of pieces on the line, be it a row or a column, from which the piece was removed. Example, when I remove this, I score two points times one, two, three, four pieces. I'm scoring eight points.
like this. Remove the piece and score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight points. Now black, for instance, could remove this piece. It's 1 times 1, 2 pieces, 2 points. Here. Let's go on. Another example. Now white could remove this. 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 points. 8 plus 12, 20. Here, 10 plus 10. Now black can still remove this piece. 1 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces, 5 points. 2 plus 5, 7. A counter that is present on the line from which the piece is removed doubles the points scored. Example. Let's say white removes this piece. Well, now he couldn't, but just for an example. Removing this is 1 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces, but there's also a counter. So it's 5 times 1, 5 points, doubled. 10 points for the white. Another example is like this. I remove this. 2 times 1, 2, 3 is 6 points, but with this they are doubled. 12 points. Still another example. I remove this. So it's 1 times 1 double, even if the counter has a different color, the score is doubled. A player can score less points than he is entitled to in order to leave his counter in a more favorable position. I could say I'm here, like this. I'm the red player, I have 35 points, and uh, I score like uh, 15 points, I should go like here, but I can stop a bit before, like this, because at the next move I will have to remove this piece and I will be able to double the score with my counter. If there are two counters on the same line, the, the score is quadrupled. Two counters cannot stay on the same square. The game ends immediately when the player scores more than 100 points. So if the counter of the black scores all till here, 10, and some more, Black wins, or if red scores more than one point, than one hundred points, red wins. If a player cannot remove any more pieces, he passes, and the other one goes on removing his pieces until he can. When both players cannot remove any more pieces, the game ends, and the winner is the player with more points. In case of a tie, the players take all their pieces they didn't use in the first phase and put them on a line, like this, end to end. The player with the longer line wins. In this case, red wins. In case of a tie, well, the game ends in a tie. And these are the rules for Isaac. I hope you enjoy it. Bye!